Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lex. I'm a full-time reseller uh, just about everywhere. Um, today we're going to uh, drop the entire price of my eBay store by 5%. Um, so first of all, you need to have Seller Hub and you're going to go into your listings. Um, if you have more than 2,000 listings, you can only do 2,000 at a time. Um, so I am going to limit so for I don't want to um, pick anything that is under 599 um, and the reason why is because I 599 plus shipping that's not a problematic price point okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do current price is greater than 599 and then we're gonna search. So there are a couple of reasons why you would drop the price of your store by 5%. Um, I generally would like to move about 1% of my sales every day. See, this is something that I listed today, so I probably wouldn't wanna drop the price on that, but um, we are going <laughs> to we're not going to go through 1590 items right um there is one other thing that i'm going to do and i don't want um so if you sell jewelry that's over $500 uh, or $500 or more that goes to the GIA for authentication um, there are some restrictions on that, but I don't want those items to um, get caught up in the um, the discounting. So, oops. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna click it again, and then uh, anyway. So, what we're gonna do? We're we're gonna pick a f pick out a few of them. Um, but you know when you drop the price of your store you drop the price of your store it's kind of hard you're, you're probably gonna miss some stuff and it, it's not a big deal because it's only five percent um, I've been finding this, so like this one I, I don't want that to get caught up in the sales so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're still gonna pick that um, so edit all all listings but this should be at the top so when we actually get into this screen I'll just go in and uncheck it um, so and as you start doing this uh, you you might remember which listings you don't want to drop the price on and um, you know you can find a way to uh, eliminate those anyway so what we're gonna do we're gonna go over here and we're gonna click on select all and then um, like some of these like the most expensive items I do not want to drop the price on those um, like that this one I don't want to drop that one um, and that should do it um, and again, I, I don't tend to worry about this too much because I would generally take an offer for 5% less. Um, so then we're going to go down and we're going to click on um, buy it now price. Okay. And we're going to lower by 5% and don't go below five dollars ninety nine cents but you can pick whatever it works for you and then we're gonna apply that so um, anyway if you find that you're not able to sell anything without making offers or accepting offers then your prices might be too high we, we generally have a tendency to overprice our items just because we're kind of afraid that we might not get as much as we could have um, and what I would say is if you can make a profit on your item like a, a reasonable profit just just take the deal get rid of it um, there's nothing that's going to hold up 
the turnover of your inventory like the emotional attachments you have to the items all right so we got that going and then we're going to click submit all and you can kind of check just to make sure nothing really terrible happened um, but I've, I've done this quite a few times and I know how it works um, I always check to make sure that, that the, I'm not going to get charged a bunch of fees for doing it and then we're going to click submit and we'll just kind of wait here for a second if um, this is also a good way to see if any of your listings have errors like if um, the price might not update if there's something kind of wonky with the listing and so you can get a chance to go in and, and see which ones those are um, but it looks like everything is going to update and one failed so we're going to just click try again some t yeah and then it worked that time uh, sometimes when you're in the process of batch processing eBay is also doing something on that listing and then there's kind of a conflict um, now I think a lot of people might think well you know I'll just drop my price by a penny and that might be effective I, I would say it's generally not effective like even if a hundred people had priced something at a hundred and you c undercut them at 99.99 that in my opinion the algorithm does not recognize that as um, a change not not enough of one to, to move the the price of the item five percent seems to be um, kind of the magic number like the lowest that you could change it by to get some benefit but um, I, I don't know each person might feel a little bit differently about that so if you do feel free to leave a comment um, you can also leave a question um, below and if this video was helpful for you if you would please click the like button I would greatly appreciate it and if you click subscribe then uh, next time I post a similar video you'll get a notification thanks so much bye bye